Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tadayoshi CJ and welcome back to another anime tutorial. And for this fireplace anime scene, I'm going to break down how I made this anime scene. So this is what it looks like on the viewport tab. And as you could see, this is what it looks like on the rendered tab. So, as you could see, on my anime scene, it's just a simple setup, but it just looks anime already. So first of all, I'm going to enable this show overlays. Now, you will see there's some light sources here and especially the sun. So if I try to delete the sun, it looks like this. Now, even without the sun, it still looks good, right? So a sun is very important in anime scenes as well, especially on indoor and close-up shots. And as you could see, if you add your if you add a color on your sun, it will look like this. Now, if you remove the sun, it would look like this, which is still good. Now, next, another thing here on my anime scene is my procedural anime outlines. For example, this one here. If I inset this one and I extrude it, as you could see, there's already automatic anime or white outlines here. So, to make that, you could add a GU node here on an unsigned angle and name that as bevels. And add an attribute and name it as bevels as well. So, as you could see, the white outlines here on my anime scene looks like this. And this is just only one way of adding anime outlines next is here as you could see on the bricks here you could see some small details it's like a chipping or damaged bricks here and that is pretty easy as well well what i did here is i just added a displacement here and a noise texture same with here as well so that if you could rotate the sun as you could see it is also be being affected it does have shadows as well as you could see it adds a bit of details and those little bits if they add up it would for sure improve the whole anime scene next as you could see i have white outlines here or light outlines i've made the same on different parts here then here as well i've added outlines but now it's color red and now let's go into the main part here which is the fire so for this fire it's just pretty simple but as you could see we could also make or change this fire here by to delete this part here and as you could see it does looks really anime fire if we make it constant it will look better and bigger before making an anime fire like this so my anime fire has black outlines on the first level so that it would look better and on the other part as you could see it has a gradient from yellow to red and this acts a as a background to the front fire here and for the wave i added drivers here then I also animated the location so that it moves upwards. Then lastly, for this one, I added a wave modifier. So as you could see, it moves like that. Now, I will also upload a step-by-step -step tutorial for anime fire. And lastly, in this scene, of course, if we render it, or without compositing, it looks like this. But with compositing, it looks like this. So as you could see, so my compositing helps a lot in anime scene. As you could see, in my compositing, this is the before. And now with compositing, the outlines of the bricks and more objects like the fire is now more highlighted. And I added some blur on the sides here. And now if you render it, looks like this as you could see does looks better next i also of course added some smoke here then for the particles here it's just a simple particle 
So in for the particle, I added two objects here that are very high in emission and two with just a normal number of emission value. Next is, as you could see, the reflection here. It's very important to add a reflection, especially on close-up anime shots, especially if the object is tiles like this. So it's very simple. All you need to do is to enable the screen space reflection. As you could see, this is without and this is with screen space reflections. Now, I hope that helps you a lot in your journey on mastering 3D anime. And if you really want to master 3D anime so that you could do anime scenes within just a day or even an anime film within just a week just by yourself or even have commissions that you sell your anime scenes, all of this, you can master this in just a week on my 3D anime ultimate package. You could just simply check it in the description below for the link. And we have a limited time offer for now. And in that package, it includes step-by-step -step courses, unlimited courses, unlimited anime files. And of course, you could ask me anytime and we could do live sessions as well. So what are you waiting for? And it is now unlimited time offer. So more tips, by the way, this scene. For the foreground, I also added a black outlines and for the background, I also added black outlines and that is pretty simple and it's just a solidify modifier with a black emission material. And that's it for today. So stay tuned for the anime fire tutorial. See you soon.